Hi friends, Saurav here. Welcome back to my channel. In our last tutorial, we have learned about instead of insert trigger. So today we are going to learn about instead of update trigger. Okay. So what actually instead of update does, and you know how we can use this instead of update. We will use. Uh, we will learn today. Okay. So before that, I'll just uh, you know re revise you the last tutorial. What we have done in our last tutorial, we have created two tables. Okay. We have created a view. Uh, using these two tables and we were trying to insert some data in our view okay so actually we were failing to insert the data so we have created instead of insert trigger to insert the data in our view so what we are going to do today we will be updating the view actually we will be updating our uh, view and let's see what happens so we, our view name is vw underscore ysc so let's do some extract from our view first vw underscore ysc and then run is so we have this data as you can see okay so as you can see we have this data so what we are gonna do we are gonna uh, use update command on this view so let's do that let's update vw underscore ysc set our uh, f name uh, as uh, something like tim where f name or some let's uh, you know uh, this thing only so update this and run this so as you can see we cannot modify we got the error as cannot modify a column which maps to a non-preserved table it means that it is strictly saying us that we cannot modify this column so we have to make we have to do something that we can modify the uh, column actually so for that we have to create our uh, we have to create this instead of uh, update trigger okay so how we can write that trigger this uh, things are very simple create or replace the trigger name trigger trigger name io underscore update underscore ysa i have written instead of update initially previously in our last tutorial we were writing it as instead of insert here i have written instead of update on the view vw underscore ysc then for each row begin update example our table name is example set f name is equal to new dot f name this is our you know identifier it will identify that this is the new value and uh, using colon old dot f name means that's the old value so this is how it will work okay and same we will do with the uh, uh, second table example 2 is equal to l name is equal to uh, you know new dot l name and uh, where l name is equal to old dot l name okay so hope this uh, concept this example is clear to you let me copy this control c and paste in a sql workshop here uh, here actually control v and run this query yeah run this so as you can see our tip, uh, trigger got created now let's try to you know uh, update the value now so we'll see update we'll try to uh, run this update command and run this so as you can see four, four rows updated it means that we have successfully updated the row okay if you want to see you can check your table actually so i'll do select star from example because we have updated it as tim so as you can see it got updated successfully okay and let's see our uh, you know example 2 we have not done anything for that so that will be as it is actually so go again jobs so that's as it is we have updated our uh, you know first name successfully so this is how we can update our view using instead of update trigger hope this example and concept is clear to you for any confusion or doubt let me know in comment box thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much